and welcome to a, another video on triangle congruence and in this video we're going to carry on where we left off from the last video and trying to prove that different triangles are congruent using a combination of their side lengths and their angles. Now in the last video we looked at two triangles that had exactly the same three side lengths and I showed you that these two triangles are congruent and we called this the side 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 axiom or SSS for short. So in this video we're going to try and discover some other axioms and they, they're all going to involve the side lengths and angles. So the first combination of sides and angles I'm going to try is SAS. So what this means is if we've got two triangles that have the same side length and the angle in between them is the same, does that mean that those two triangles are congruent? So let's start off by drawing our first side length. Let's say it looks something like that. So that's uh, our first part of our triangle. Now let's draw exactly the same side length for our second triangle. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. And let's put our second triangle over here. So I've done my first S. Okay, so these two side lengths are exactly the same length. Now let's have a look at the other side length. And let's do that in blue. So let's say my second side length goes this far. And again, it has to be the same for the second triangle. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. And I'm going to attach it here. Okay, so we've got our two side lengths, which are exactly the same. So I can just highlight that here. So that is our second S. And now the A, the angle in between them has to be the same. Now, the way I've done this, it's all already the same. So I can just label this angle here. I don't know what the angle measures, but I know that those angles are exactly the same. So we've got our first side length the same, we've got our second side length the same, and we've got our angle in between those sides which are the same. And now notice, there's only one possible way of finishing my triangle. So the side length that I'm going to draw in in green, that is going to be exactly the same for these two triangles. And just to prove that, if I copy and paste that, and pop it in here, notice those are exactly the same. So we have two identical triangles. These two triangles are congruent. So if we are told that there are two triangles that have two of the side lengths the same and the angle in between them is the same, then we know for sure that those two triangles are congruent. And this is called the SAS axiom. Okay, so the next one I'm going to try is ASA. So just to recap what this means, if we have two triangles where two of the angles are the same, and the side length in between those two angles are the same, are those two triangles congruent? So let's first of all draw our side length. So let's say our side length goes like this. And I'm just going to copy and paste that because we're going to draw a second one of exactly the same length. But this time I'm just going to rotate it just to show you that we don't have to have it at the same angle. So these two sides are exactly the same length. And now we need to make the angles that branch off from these side lengths exactly the same. Now I don't have a protractor tool on this piece of software. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into my pencil case, get my protractor out and pop it on the screen. Now I know it's a bit clunky, but um, we'll just go with it anyway. So I've got my protractor lined up and let's say we're going to measure it at 60 degrees. So 60 degrees is about there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from this point here that goes through this line and that should be 60 degrees. Now I need to measure exactly the same 60 degree angle on this triangle but I'm not concerned about the side length, we're just looking at the angle. So I'm going to pop my protractor back on the screen and measure 60 degrees which is here. And now the side length, just to make things different, I'm going to go a bit further. Okay, I'm going to not do the same length as this one. I'm going to go a bit further. So if I get my line tool out again and draw a line and let's say it goes all the way up here just to show that it's completely different to this one here, but it is 60 degrees. So let's mark that in. So we've got our angles that are the same, which is this A. We've got our side lengths that are the same, which is the S. Now we have to draw uh, or construct two more angles that are the same, but this time from this side. So I'm going to get my protractor back up on the screen and I'm, this time I'm going to measure a 40 degree angle. It doesn't matter what the degrees is, but they have to be the same for both. So that's about 40 degrees. And now I'm just going to draw a line from here. Oh, that's not very good. Let's do that again. So I'll be as accurate as possible. 
And I'm just going to go through to that point here. Now, it doesn't matter how far we go. We can see that we've constructed a triangle. So these excess pencil marks, I'm just going to leave them on there for now. We can always rub them off later. So I know that this angle here is 40 degrees. So let's do the same over here. We're going to construct a 40 degree angle on this side. So if I get my protractor back up. Okay, so I'm just making sure it's accurate. Now 40 degrees is here. So let's get our line tool out and draw a line from here through to here. Okay, and we can see that that is a 40 degree angle now. And notice, what do we have? Well, they look congruent. These two triangles look congruent and they indeed are congruent. So that first blue line that I drew in was, diff uh, was a different length. But it didn't matter in the end because you can see that all of this gets rubbed off. So all of this gets rubbed off. And then all of this gets rubbed off because that's not part of our triangle. And we can also rub part of the green line off. So that bit there and that bit there. And we have two triangles that are congruent. They have been, one has been rotated, but uh, the three side lengths are exactly the same. So if we are given two triangles with this, one of the side lengths the same, and the two angles either side of that uh, side length are the same, then we have two triangles that are congruent. And this is called the ASA axiom. So angle, side, angle. Now, just to summarize what we've done so far, we've looked at three different scenarios of pairs of triangles with uh, side lengths and angles that are the same. In the next video, we're gonna look at a couple more combinations of different side lengths and angles. So we're gonna focus on a, 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 which is angle, angle, angle. So if we have two triangles with the same angles, does that mean that those two triangles are definitely congruent? And the other one we're gonna look at, which uh, I find highly amusing, is the ASS scenario. <laughs> Hopefully, I will see you in the next video. Take care.